Hi, I'm Brandon Naidu. I'm a drug crimes defense attorney here in San Diego, California. San Diego, it's no secret, is right by the Mexican border. We share that border with Mexico, and that border crossing is one of the busiest in the world. And as a result, a large amount of drugs illegally flows from our southern border into the United States. And there are a lot of folks who are arrested for trafficking at the border. We call these border busts. A lot of times, however, you may find yourself in a situation where you have been accused by Border Patrol of trying to enter the United States with a, a significant quantity of illegal narcotics, and you're now facing felony trafficking charges. Way too often, we get persons who call in and say that, I had no idea there were drugs in, in my vehicle. Because San Diego borders Tijuana, it is also a, a tourist destination. A lot of San Diego residents and people from Southern California frequently drive into Mexico just to spend the day, maybe the night, and then drive back, do some shopping, maybe some fishing. But then when they're driving back, they're busted at the border. They say, you have drugs in your car. You are what is known as a blind mule. You have unknowingly been subjected to being a mule for the drug cartels in Mexico. They have, without your knowledge, swapped your car, usually a gas tank or attached some type of hidden compartment to the undercarriage of your vehicle. And knowing that you would be crossing back through the border, they have people who follow you and track where the drugs go. And then when your car is parked in the United States, they go and retrieve the drugs again without you suspecting. The challenging thing about a blind mule defense and where it differs from most defense strategies in criminal law is that in order to be successful on a blind mule defense, we are put in a unique position where we have the burden of proving up that defense. In criminal law, you're innocent until proven guilty, but simply saying, I didn't know the drugs were there, you can imagine, doesn't really impress prosecutors too much. We need to be able to demonstrate that it is more likely than not, and it is within the realm of believability and possibility that you are the victim of being made to be a blind mule. How can we do that? We can do that through records. The border is heavily surveilled. We can subpoena the border crossing uh, surveillance tapes. We can subpoena the body-worn camera. More importantly, we will demonstrate through records um, frequent visits down um, to Mexico, uh, uh, whether somebody was using the services of a mechanic in Mexico. That is very common. It's obviously a lot cheaper to get your car fixed in Tijuana than it is in San Diego. A lot of folks to save money will drive down for doctor's appointments, mechanic appointments um, for a couple hours and then drive back. Well, in that couple hours that they were at their appointment is all the time that the cartels need to plant those drugs on the vehicle, get the license plate and track that vehicle back over the border. So through those records, through demonstrating that you were there for legitimate business, that you have no ties to drug activity, anything of that nature, um, we are able to put forward uh, a successful blind mule defense and mitigate these charges and possibly even lead to the dismissal of these charges. But blind mule is a very difficult defense um, to mount. It requires a lot of evidence on our part that the prosecution is not going to go out of their way to discover. So it really does shift the burden back onto your defense team. And so having the proper defense team that is knowledgeable and experienced with blind mule situations is very crucial in effective representation on your case. So if you or anybody that you know has been charged with drug trafficking and you believe that there may be a victim of blind muling, um, please give our office a call at 619-577-0868.